Hello! Over the past uh, few months, I've been restoring this IBM 29 key punch. Uh, the key punch produces punch cards, uh, just like this guy. So you can see their hello world, and these are all the places where we've indicated a bit in um, EBCDIC, uh, which is the IBM encoding uh, for characters, uh, to, to say out hello world, okay? So the last part I have to do to this before putting it together is adding grease right here. And anyone who's dealt with IBM equipment knows that it's very difficult to find any kind of replacement for IBM 23 grease. So, and there's been a lot of discussion about what the proper replacement is for IBM 23 grease. So I was able to find a little tube here of IBM number 23 grease. Um, appears to be intact, I have not opened it yet. Um, and after some research, I found what should be the closest replacement for um, IBM 23 grease. Now, the way I chose this grease was because of a comment in a Lexmark printer guide. The printer used IBM 23 grease and specified that, um, I'll take this out of the bag here, Shell Darina uh, was a proper replacement. Now it's stated Shell Darina 1. Um, this is Shell Darina Grease SD2, but based on someone else's research, it should be the closest. Now there's a lot of, of people out there um, who are stating things like you can use um, uh, something like Mobile Grease 1, etc. Um, unless that is a bentonite clay grease, that's fine if you completely remove um, the old grease, but if you leave any of um, the old bentonite clay grease, um, based on what I understand, you can have some very serious issues there um, doing that. So I'm gonna take my grease gun. My father, uh, my father had to show me how to do this. So hope I'm hope I'm doing it uh, correctly here. Even okay. So here is uh, here's my grease right there. Okay. So um, <clears throat> oh dear, I think I put it in. Pretty sure I put it in like this, right? Just like. Well, it doesn't want to go in like that, so it must go in like this. Let's see. <laughs> Um, obviously, I've never done this before. Uh, probably, maybe should have taken... Okay, there we go. You see the grease in there? All right, so I should have taken this end off first, but I'm okay. Um, this is the first time doing computer restoration. I've had to, to work with uh, industrial greases. Okay, there we go. So there it is right there. So I thought I would have to, I would have to squeeze some out before comparing it against the IBM 23 grease, but that is clearly not the case, though I'm scared to death of, of nudging this thing, and then I'm pretty sure I will shoot a wad of grease out. So I actually should put the lid on this thing um, before, you know, making a horrible mistake. <laughs> so I'll just do that real quick. Put the, put the lid on this thing so that uh, there are no, um, no horrible mistakes. Okay. Now, if I was smart, I would have taken a little bit before, but honestly, I kind of need to see how this thing works because um, I want to put just a very little bit in here. The old grease is fine. The system fully works, um, but that bentonite clay grease is known for setting into a hard mass, and the way you prevent that is by adding a bit of fresh grease. Um, this won't last forever, right, uh, but it should add a few decades, ideally, at extremely light use, uh, which is all this, this IBM 29 should see, okay? Um, so at, at this point, it's primed, it is pumping grease, and I have some of the grease. Um, I decided I needed a, uh, I needed a glove, and um, I used uh, one of my wife's gloves, and um, any glove can fit if it tears, so uh, I won't be touching the grease directly, which is good, right? I've got this um, test punch card with uh, with some gibberish on it, right? Right there. So let's let's get to it. 
And what I'm doing is I just want to compare this stuff that I got, okay? Um, it's the new name for the, uh, for the grease, which is Gatus, um, against the tube of IBM 23 grease. This is the first time I've, I've opened it up here, so. Um, let's see, come on. And the seller did squeeze out a little bit for me. Um, well, not for me, but for the auction. So there is some that came out. It is really hard to get out. I assume at the time that this was new, it wasn't nearly so hard to get out, but you can see, and this is what happens to the uh, bentonite clay grease, which is why I'm so interested to compare. Um, the oil migrates out of the grease, and that's why it hardens. And you can see that this tube is just completely permeated with oil, right? I assume that's what that, that discoloration is. Um, might be wrong, but that, that's sure my assumption, right, is that the oil has migrated into the plastic out of the grease, which is why it's so hard to squeeze this out. But I'm, I'm getting a pretty good amount, right? Um, and just on first impression, they're very, very similar greases. Just one has way less oil in it, is what it kind of looks like. They're both bentonite clay. Um, and I can't stress enough, everything you read online, do not mix bentonite clay grease and, and normal, any other grease. Um, they're incompatible and, and you'll end up with real issues. So I put on this glove and tore the crap out of it so that I could kind of, you know, touch them a little bit and just see, you know, as I spread it out over the card, how it spreads and kind of what it feels like. Yeah, yeah, those are, those feel like the same grease. It seems really, really similar um, the way it's spreading out and uh, just the way it feels, except this one, it has a little bit more, more resistance. And as I mix them together, you know, I can feel, kind of feel that resistance drop a little bit, that friction. And then as I over, move over here into the pure grease, there's, there's less friction. So that's the, it's the only real difference, but I mean, it's, it's very small. Um, that and the color difference, right? The way that the IBM 23 grease is described um, is more like the, the fresh grease um, than the old tube of grease, right? More of that gray than orange. Um, and obviously clay, right? It makes sense, it would, it would end up turning um, that orange. So uh, what I'm looking for is any old IBMers out there, and there's a couple I worked with to restore this machine who I'm gonna ask to watch this video. Um, tell me, you know, it is was the old IBM 23 grease when it was fresh, was it more um, like the, the first uh, grease we saw, uh, the fresh grease, or the uh, tube in the orange color. So um, I'll, I'll find that out. But in the meantime, it's time to do the last part of repair on this IBM 29, which is just, again, putting a little bit of fresh grease in here. And I can actually see the old grease, and it is a dark orange um, in there, the grease I can see. Right, so I'm really glad we're, we're getting in there and putting some fresh grease in. So I'm going to take off this ridiculous glove, all right, and grab my grease gun, okay, and you know, it just pops right on, which uh, surprises me, but um, that is it. It just, it just kind of, you just shove it on. All right, it's on. Um, it's on real good. So I should be able to just kind of uh, give it a pump. A good pump. Oh, I heard it. I heard it pop just a little bit there. Uh, and I see a tiny bit of fresh grease popping out amongst the old grease. So I think that that did it. That's good. That was good. I'll tell you what. Oh, you, you twist it. You twist it. Dad told me about this. You twist it to loosen it up. There you go. All right. Shout out to my dad looking out for me. Tell me what I need to know about this stuff. Uh, from before my time. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, try powering me, powering her on, and uh, and see what happens. You know, immediately um, that is that is sounding sounding really really good there. Um, right, I took my, I think I took my. There we go. So I'm gonna register the card. Okay, that's working great. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit that a few times. You see that guy?
Okay, great. Here, let me rotate this so you can actually kind of see the car, because that's always super fun. Just seeing how this whole mechanism, look at that, look at how it rotates. That is, I mean, it's one of my favorite features of this machine is that right there, right? I actually just dumped all the chat out, but you know, it's very neat to see it in this orientation run. Right? And then I can drop it back to its normal operating position. Right? And again, I've got a little little vibration there. So I need to, I've got something loose, but that's why I've got to reassemble this. So this is the last time I'm going to run it um, with it uh, uh, with it all disassembled like this. The next time will be uh, with the case all on. But um, thank you for watching. Um, and uh, woo! I'm so happy this thing is uh, is all done. Bye.